Hoffa Day, welcome back to the hot spot at the Boca Box. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. I'm Jess Rosario, I'm the owner and nutrition professional here. And today we're going to talk a little bit more about staying on track for the holiday season. It's about 11 days until Christmas and holidays are in full swing. I know, uh, just like me, I know you guys are going to parties, you guys are having Christmas or uh, work gatherings, there's uh, Christmas uh, presentations and programs and all of that going on. It's kind of crazy because Christmas and the holiday season is kind of the busiest time of the year for us. So many things going on. Last week we talked about 10 tips that you guys can kind of do to stay on track with your health and with your weight loss journey. But I wanted to take a little bit different approach to that. A lot of times we don't see the things that can really not harm, but kind of they're kind of like pitfalls that can take up take us off track of our healthy eating habits. So I wanted to kind of identify the things that are not so obvious to us. And of course, whenever we're talking about uh, weight loss, right, it boils down to how many calories we're eating. And the most obvious thing people do when they're trying to watch their calorie intake is they will go to the party or the gathering and be like, oh, I'm just gonna stay away from all the desserts. But you know, we gotta be real. Everything's always about balance, right? And balancing out how much you're eating, how much dessert you're eating, and trying a few things here and there, but not overdoing it. Uh, but again, we go back to how many calories you're eating whenever you're at these gatherings. Now, um, I wanted to take a look at some of the hidden things that we may not be that may not be too obvious to us. Now, the first thing that um, is kind of hidden, right, is I think that whenever we go to parties and we're eating, we're eating way too many carbs. I mean, take a look at it. Look at your plate, right? That's the first thing people don't do is they don't look at how much food is on their plate. But if we're looking at our plate and we're kind of identifying what foods are carbohydrates, we have rice, then we have bread, then we have pancit, and then we have things like lumpia and uh, macaroni and all that other stuff. And we have all of that on our plate. That's a lot of carbs. Now, carbs are not bad. Food in general is not bad, but anything that is too much becomes bad for us, right? In the sense where it leads to, to weight gain. Now, the reason why I wanna target carbs and the amount of carbs that we're eating is because typically we think, okay, let's get rid of the sugars so we stay away from the desserts. But carbs in general, when we eat it, it breaks down in our body and turns into sugar. Anytime that sugar is not used up in our body, it gets stored as fat. And we don't want that. So we have to look at ways to minimize, control, and kind of balance the amount of carbohydrates that we're eating. So again, be balanced about your approach. If you want your rice, if you want your pancit, if you want your mac, mac and cheese, uh, your breads, take smaller portions or kind of just like me i'm not a big rice person but i'll i'll do like a little bit of pancit maybe a piece of bread and that's about it right uh, but i'll i'll look at ways to minimize the amount of carbohydrates that i'm eating when i'm sitting down with the family and enjoying my meal again you have to enjoy the meal you have to be balanced about that approach so don't restrict yourself just minimize enjoy the food that you're eating but control the amount of carbohydrates that you're putting on your plate. On that same note, right, we're talking about carbohydrates, we're talking about sugars. The other thing that people usually are not aware of that can lead to increased calorie intake is the beverages that they're, that they're drinking. I know at the fiesta tables and the parties, we fill our plates up and then we look at the, the cooler and we're like, oh, I'm gonna grab a diet soda because I'm on a diet, right? But if we're drinking soda, which I kinda stay away from, right usually uh lately I, i've had maybe like a can in a week or so but well that's a, a topic for a different um, a different time uh, but try to stay away from sodas which are very uh, they're very rich in calories but they're not rich in nutrients you really don't get anything from drinking soda besides sugar and calories so kind of limit the the sodas that you're drinking also juices tend to have lots and lots of sugar added to it so be careful about the juices that you're that you're drinking now 
we don't typically see juices on the table, but if you're at brunch, if you're enjoying some, you know, Christmas breakfast with your with your family, you're going to be drinking, like my family, you're going to be drinking some mimosas. And a lot of times you'll put juice into the mimosas just to give it a little bit of flavor, but the amount of alcohol that you're drinking combined with the juices kind of add up, right? But that also goes into like all the al other alcoholic drinks where you're mixing soda. So um, be careful about drinking alcohol with sodas because again, that's just added calories that you don't need whenever you're having fun with the family. Stick to the basics, right? For me, if I'm drinking I'm go or drinking uh, at the party and eating, I'm always sticking to water just so I make sure that I'm hydrated and I'm not adding any more added calories to my plate or to my meal. But also, if I'm going to enjoy myself and have a little bit of alcohol with my family and I'm going to mix something, I'm always looking for, especially now because I'm trying to do more of a ketogenic approach to my eating habits right now, I'm looking for lower carb or zero carb options. And there's a lot of them out there, right? You'll see a lot of the sodas that are zero carb um, or less carb, uh, even beers, uh, which are high in carbohydrates, there are alternatives to that which are lower carbs. So watch the amount of carbs that you're taking in, be very well balanced about your approach to eating, but it's the holiday season, so enjoy yourself. From the Boca Box and everyone at KYM at the hotspot, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, have fun this, this holiday season.